Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to push your Docker images to Docker Hub. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is Docker Hub and its use cases. Docker Hub is a hosted repository cloud-based service provided by the Docker where people can push and pull their Docker container images from the Docker Hub at any time or anywhere via internet access. So its key feature included private repository, push and pull container images, automate builds, automatically build container images from GitHub or Bitbucket and push them to the Docker Hub. So in short, Docker Hub is the cloud-based repository in which Docker users and partners create, test, store and distribute container images. So currently you can see in my browser I am in hub.docker.com official website or web page from where anyone can create and make your own account for contribute container images across the world. I have already created an account so let me log in first. So you can click on the sign in option and if you have the account and if you don't have you can create it from here and I'm logging with my username and give the password. So I give the password. So now you can see this is my fresh account and currently there, is, there are no repository in the namespace and I don't have any container image in my account. So let's start the lab session. For the demonstration purpose I am using RHEL 9 virtual machine. So in the previous part we saw how we can create our own custom image and how we can create container that are based on those images. Now let's see how we can publish this image and uh, also we can download this image from anywhere in the world and we can use it freely. So for this we need to upload or push your own images in the Docker Hub account. So let me show you the OS release version and start one more time to build our own custom images for the running container. So let's move my virtual machine. Here it is my virtual machine. I'm logging first with root account. Give the password and sorry the wrong password I think I have supplied. Okay here it is and if I run the host MCTL you can find out this is currently rel 9 version. Okay, and if I go with the docker hyphen hyphen version, uh, let version, you can see docker command line tool is already installed in this machine. So let me take the assets of this machine from my VMware workstation. So for this, what I'm going to do, click on the VM, SSH, and connect to SSH. Give the password, and I'm here. Okay, so guys, this is uh, my root at the red docker server. Okay, so. Let me check the current condition of docker image using the following command docker images. You can see currently I don't have any container image. So first of all let me create a new container from docker hub using the following command. So docker container and then the command is run hyphen it and hyphen hyphen name could be anything I am going with web1 and nginx slash bin slash bash okay so press enter okay unable to find the image nginx latest locally okay you can see currently i don't have any container images so once i run this command for the demonstration purpose i'm using nginx container you can go with any container and here hyphen it is for the interactive mode with bash login shell and my container name is web1 right so it takes some time and let it be download first yes it's successfully completed so now you can see i'm in the, i'm in the container successfully my container is successfully launched and currently i'm in container so you can see uh, the prompt look at my prompt it's showing my container id so let me check the os release version so if i go with cat etc os release file you can find out it's a debian linux so let me update it first and I will make some blank files for the demonstration purpose in the slash time directory using the following update command that is apt get hyphen update uh, update hyphen y. So press enter it will update the packages okay and uh, yep it's successfully done. Now let me create the blank file touch say file say touch where you need to create and the file file say 1 to 10 dot txt that's sufficient for us okay ls temp here it is so now you can see packages are successfully updated and 10 files are created in slash time directory now i'm going to quit this container by pressing control p and q key combination so control p and q uh, give me one sec let me press one more time control p and q yep i'm out of the container and you can see 
I'm back on my docker host machine. So let's check the container running condition. So I can go with docker ps command and it is in running condition. Right. Now move to the next step which is I'm going to make the container image from using uh, running this container using the following command. So the command is docker container and then we can commit hyphen hyphen author you can mention the author name I'm mentioning my name uh, Mishra and then I mentioned the message you can say this is this is a demo image okay and the container name is web1 and the new container image name say cust1 custom custom then container and this is my first version the tag one so uh, here I mentioned the author name and the commit with the tag new container image right press enter yep it's successfully created now you can see our custom image successfully built so let me check the docker image one more time if I go with the docker image you can see that custom container with 0 1 tag is there and look at the size sizes differ because I have updated the packages uh, earlier that was 142 MB and now currently you can see that it is 160 MB right now move to the next step which is push this image into the docker hub site but before push the image into docker hub let me create the public repository there so I'm back one more time on my docker hub website on my docker hub account and create the public repository so that anyone can use this image so click on the create repo from here and give the repo name so I'm giving the repo name uh, could be anything I'm saying Linux R and description is uh, for demo okay so Linux R uh, is my repo name for this demonstration name should be the same as image this is the important point we have to be keep in mind and in the right side you can see that the steps is clearly mentioned uh, if you want to push your image we have to run these two command docker tag and docker push right and you can create this repository publicly and privately so you can create anyone I'm creating here as a public repository once our lab is will be done I will remove this repository this is only for the demonstration purpose okay so now I'm by default publicly selected so I click on the create so now you can see that uh, for this uh, uh, my complete uh, repository name is Ram Mishra slash Linux R. So this is my full repository name. So finally, I am going to push my image with the tag image and the given name that actually we want to use into the Docker Hub site. So for this, first of all, I am login Docker Hub site using the Docker login command. So I am back again on the terminal. First of all, I am here and say Docker login uh, login hyphen u username username is Ram Mishra. Okay so give the password i give the password just wait yep login successfully so now i'm using docker tag command to rename our image syntax will be docker tag and the source and the destination the source is the custom container colon zero one and ram mishra slash linux r linux r the same one this is the complete one linux r and then we can mention the uh, tag one that is a zero one so once I press enter it successfully tag in the same manner we can tag multiple names like version one version two version three let me create one more for the latest one so l a t e s t latest one right so now we can check it with the docker image command so if I go with the docker images you can see that custom container ram mishra linux r that is 0 1 tag and ram mishra linux r that is the latest one and you can see that image is being uh, successfully completed but you can check that uh, notice that hash value is the same one look at that the hash value is the same right even they have the different tag name but they are identical images so now move to the final command which is docker push to upload your image into the docker hub site so for push your upload image what you need to do say docker push and then anyone Ramisha say let us I want to go with that one right so press enter okay preparing waiting so now you can see images being uploaded into the docker hub yep and it will take some time so in the same manner I can push another image like uh, 01 and anyone right 
so let it be complete first okay suppose I go back again with 0 1 the another image in the same manner I'll follow the same one say uh, preparing waiting okay say it says layer already exist it's all already note that even different tag names are the they are same images and it's uploaded successfully now we can log out from the docker site using the following command say docker logout okay now i'm logged out successfully let's move to the docker hub site and reload the page and let me verify where it is so if i refresh the page okay just wait for a couple of minutes okay here you can see that under the tag i have two images uh, that is one zero one as well as the latest so if i go with the tag under the tag you can see that the uh, this here is the command with the size the docker pull and this command can be used to pull the image so i i now move to the final check where i'm uh, i'm removing my all containers and make new container using pull this image using the following command that is docker pull command right so first of all let me remove my uh, all containers so first of all i will go with docker let me check the current status say docker ps okay it is in running so let me remove first of all docker stop docker stop okay and now after that i can remove that one no need to be stop and remove the things we can create another container it's not a big deal but i'll go in the fresh manner so that's why i'm going to do that stop even i'm going to remove that one okay let me check with docker ps it's clear let me check with docker ps minus a it's again clear okay let me remove docker images so currently i have some images let me remove the images also so command is docker rmi and the image name so custom okay this is currently untag one okay then ram mishra linux 01 it's untag similarly latest now it's removed and finally i'm remove the nginx also the nginx yeah let it be checked docker images everything is clean okay so i removed all images with the tag and untag so let's create first fresh container using the custom image and with the help of command docker pull command the command is clearly mentioned here we can just copy docker pull and this one so you can copy with with the latest one or you can copy with the zero one anyone choice up to uh, us to us so i copy with that one this is the zero one tag or you can go with the latest tag so uh, in my case both are same so i go with the latest tag i copy that one and i will run the command first of all docker pull ram shra slash linux latest so once i press enter you can see uh, custom image is being going to be downloaded yeah it's started so it will take some time and then it will be completed okay extracting yeah pull done successfully done now if i go with the docker images let's see here it is it's just seven minutes created ago so now we can see uh, our image is successfully downloaded now we can create fresh container from this image so again i will run the command docker container give me one sec oops sorry Docker container then send run hyphen it again give the name this time I'm giving demo and then the repository name ROM Mishra Linux R with the latest tag or you can go with the image ID also it's not a big deal latest and I need a login shell that has been bash okay yep I'm again in the container inside the container and we can check it with the lstm command files are there successfully is there so again i can if you want to quit from there use control p and q and now docker ps the docker is in up and running condition so guys this is how you can upload your images and transfer to the other environment and if you want to untag or if you want to remove that one so you can select all the images all the images or you can go one by one and you can delete it from here say click and delete from here so it's removed from your docker repository right so guys uh, 
finally this is the end of his topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things and soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye